We're in Philippians chapter 3 today as we begin our week, looking at the common theme of the book of Philippians. Now, as you've heard already, if you've watched this before, we're just walking through the New Testament together this year, one chapter a day, five days a week, looking at one verse and letting it, observing it and actually trying to figure out how to apply it in our lives. And so today I'm looking at Philippians chapter 3, verse 1, which Paul writes to the church the common theme of his whole letter. He says, I will tell you again, rejoice in the Lord. In fact, he says, I have no problem telling you that for it's a safeguard for you. Which is why I'm filming this at sunset, because I wanted you to see that the sun comes up at the beginning of the day and it sets at the end of the day. It's consistent. It's always there throughout the day. The clouds may be around us. There may be things that block us from seeing it, but it's still there and it ends its day doing the same thing it's done all day, showing us its bright light. Well, that's, that's exactly what Paul is telling us to do in, in the whole book of Philippians. He says, rejoy all the time. Rejoy in the Lord. That's what rejoice means. It means to, to reapply joy into your life and into your spirit. So every time you see a sunset, I want it to be a reminder to you and I that we're supposed to continue to have joy throughout our day and end our day with joy just like we intend to begin it. In fact, that's why he says, finally, at the end of the day, have joy in the Lord. I encourage you to use that verse as a mantra for the next few months. When, when things are difficult, when clouds are in your life, read joy by looking to the Lord. When, when you're struggling with the politics and the banter around us, read joy in the Lord. Find your joy in the relationship you have with God because it's, He is as consistent as the sunshine. <laughs> God bless you. Have a great day. Rejoice in the Lord. And we'll finish up the book of Philippians tomorrow. See you then.